This is Industry Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we analyze a different industry. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about the space industry. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back for another original video brought to you by our team here at Alux.com. In this video, we're going to discover 15 things you didn't know about the space industry. Since humankind could throw their heads back and gaze up at the stars, they've been yearning to travel and harness the power of space. Today, with innovations in technology and an unfailing drive to conquer new frontiers, we've succeeded beyond our wildest dreams. But let's not spend too much time here in the intro and dive in to find out the 15 things you didn't know about the space industry. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Number one. When you talk about the space industry, know who the big four are. It's no surprise the fastest growing technology in the space industry is the satellite industry. After all, we rely on them for pretty much all of our communications and entertainment needs. 77% of all satellite revenue is television-based alone. The Big Four refers to the Big Four companies that are sitting on top of the billion-dollar satellite industry. They are SES, by far one of the most successful, with revenues reported at $1.76 billion. Intelsat coming in in second, with a reported $538 million, with Eutelsat and Telesat coming in third and fourth. But Aluxers, what exactly does it cost to send one satellite up into space? Estimates range between $50 million and $500 million. Why such a big discrepancy? Because getting launched into space is different than getting into orbit. SpaceX is ruling the orbiting market right now, charging that amount between $50 and $500 million. Number 2. Mining asteroids might be the new natural resource for raw minerals. In October 2018, Japan successfully landed a little robotic scout on Ryugu from Hayabusa 2 probe to collect samples of the asteroid. China had also released plans to capture an asteroid and bring it back to Earth in order to exploit it for natural resources. It's no secret that Earth's natural resources are thinning at a fast pace and asteroid mining might just make up the deficit for things like gold, silver, and many other heavy metals for transport back to Earth. The cost of the Hayabusa 2 mission was around $260 million, and it will not return to Earth with its samples until 2020. But if the resources found can make up for the cost, which financial experts agree are on par with traditional mining on Earth, we may be closer than we think. Number 3. Space tourism is happening. Companies like Blue Origin, founded by Amazon creator Jeff Bezos, and Virgin Galactic have one goal in mind, getting humans to space. Both companies have had multiple successful rocket launches and are looking to make space travel a part of a new breed of tourism. Mind you, one ticket would cost somewhere between $200,000 and $300,000 for a two-hour ride. Remarkably, though, 650 people have already signed up with a Virgin Galactic for those tickets. The Blue Origin rocket, known as the New Shepard, can accommodate six people in comfy reclining seats and even has a capsule at the tip for spectacular views. Virgin Galactic was scheduled to start giving rides in the end of 2018, but it looks like Blue Origin might be beating them in the race to space tourism. Number 4. Additive manufacturing is disrupting the space industry. 3D printing for the space industry is booming, with $1 billion in sales a year of 3D equipment and software. NASA has its own 3D printer in the space station, affording them the ability to print replacement parts and pieces using heavy-duty polymer rather than metal. And the most exciting thing about 3D printing? Colonization. Launching people into space is hard enough, but getting whole infrastructures up there is next to impossible. Cue the 3D printing industry. It'll be the only way for us to create the living spaces we need if we are seriously going to explore the possibility of hotels and even permanent living quarters off of Earth. 
Number 5. The hospitality and real estate industry are about to boom in space. We can only colonize space if we're prepared to deal with the harsh environment of it. Commercial and privately held space station companies are starting to get the attention of investors looking to create safe environments in space for everything from orbital manufacturing to high-end tourist attractions and development programs. Without even a model to go on outside of the ISS, this industry is looking to generate $37 billion in the next 10 years. As companies figure out how to mine from asteroids and the moon, the materials will already be in space for construction firms to build with. Initially, some of these companies may launch their high-end hotels from Earth first, much like the way the ISS was built. As this idea develops and expands, it's possible that we could one day have whole cities in space. Number 6. Small Satellites Bring Big Bucks The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, and Planet, a private American company, launched 104 satellites into orbit from a single rocket, each weighing just 5 kilograms, making it the owner of the largest fleet in orbit, 197 total. As a result, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency awarded them a $20 million contract to obtain imagery of Earth's landmass every 15 days. Small satellites, also known as small sats, are the hottest new product being produced in record numbers around the planet. However, this technology is not just for taking pretty pictures of the Earth. It looks like it's also the latest boom in the military industry, as satellite capability pairs nicely with missiles. Number 7. The estimated cost of building a rocket is between $500 million and $1.6 billion. It costs over a billion dollars to build a rocket. Estimates are on the $1.6 billion range, and close to $60 million every time that rocket is launched. With such an expensive, time-consuming, and risky endeavor, why are the most powerful companies in the world obsessed with building in space? As citizens, we might like to believe it's for colonization, but the truth is, space militarization is on the horizon. Vladimir Putin has already boasted about a super rocket capable of carrying missiles that can be launched into space undetected, and America and China are quickly trying to catch up with these defense systems. While there may never be a space war, hopefully at least. Much like the Cold War, there's going to be a lot of building and innovating to see just how far we can go. Innovation in the rocket industry is happening incredibly quickly. With the rise of reusable rockets, SpaceX has managed to bring down the cost per rocket to under $100 million, which is at least a five-time improvement in efficiency. Number 8. Billionaires Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Richard Branson are the big players building rockets. The competition between SpaceX and Blue Origin has been making news, so the question is, why are these billionaires so eager to get to space successfully? While they might plead the case they are planning to colonize Mars in order to save humanity, it's more likely that these two shrewd businessmen know that satellites are where it's at as far as making a profit right now. If they are successful, they'll be competing against each other not just for the business of private companies seeking to launch satellites into space, but defense contractors as well. After all, if they can launch a rocket cheaper than NASA, America and other countries will simply contract out their space defense work, taking the strain of government-run space projects off the taxpayer. But keep in mind, back in 2016, one of Elon Musk's $62 million rockets exploded while carrying Mark Zuckerberg's $150 million satellite. You know, just your average billionaire problem. Number 9. Space Can Change Your DNA NASA conducted a twins study with Mark and Scott Kelly. Scott spent a year in space while Mark stayed on Earth as a control subject. Scientists have been tracking the twins since Scott's return and have released their findings. 93% of Scott's genes returned to normal after landing, meaning 7% did not. These are possible changes in the genes of his immune system, such as DNA repair, bone formation, and other immune-related DNA that has permanently changed due to being in space for a year. Something scientists will have to study more if we are indeed going to colonize space. 
But I guess one thing's for certain, barring any catastrophic event wiping out humankind, we'll definitely colonize the universe in time. Number 10. Astronauts will soon have a floating robotic head following their every move. The Crew Interactive Mobile Companion, also known as Simon, is due to launch to the ISS in order to become a learning companion for astronauts there. Created through a partnership between IBM, the German Aerospace Center, or DLR, and the European Space Agency, Simon is trained to interact with astronauts at the space station, helping with repairs and responding to commands. It will have a responsive face on its little screen and act as a floating brain, costing just under $6 million to build and a little less than two years to create. Simon could be the way of the future for space technology. Number 11. The United States and China are winning the space race. The United States remains at the forefront of the race to dominate space, primarily because of the combined interest of commercial and government efforts. China is next, preferring to concentrate on space exploration as a central force in military power, actually doubling its military budget within the last decade for space exploration. Experts agree that by 2025, China will have launched a successful space mission. And Russia is a solid third-place contender in the space domination game, recently announcing the creation of a hypersonic glide missile, which would be, as the Russians put it, invincible when it comes to games of war. Number 12. Freeze-drying food was brought to you by space technology. NASA preferred freeze-drying. They needed to figure out how to keep their astronauts nourished in space, so they went to the lab and finally figured out that food that was immediately frozen could then be heated slowly in a vacuum chamber and still retain 98% of its nutritional value. This has been since translated into regular grocery store items, like coffee and the freeze-drying of necessary vaccines in travel and storage. Without our longing to get to space, many inventions and medical innovations we have today would never have been discovered. Supporting space exploration might just lead to the discovery of a new material or product that could benefit us all. Military space technology has been a massive boost for humanity. Just think, another amazing invention is the GPS. Number 13. Scientists agree, we really are going to colonize space. Scientists agree that planet Earth will be fine. It's us humans at risk for becoming extinct due to things like climate change and the depletion of natural resources. To allow for future generations, we have no choice but to colonize space. With billionaires all over the world opening their checkbooks to support the study and technology needed, this is well within our grasp. There have been 4,000 planets discovered so far in the galaxy, and every star in the galaxy has a planet of some kind. It's only a matter of time until we discover one that is habitable, or dare we say it, already has a civilization. With that, entire new industries will bloom. Let's take Mars for example. We'll need pizza on Mars, mining on Mars, entertainment on Mars, telecom on Mars, so you can talk to your friends on Earth without the massive lag you would have right now. Number 14. Donald Trump thinks a space force is a good idea and it'll cost $13 billion over five years. Believe it or not, this is not a new idea to the United States, and it was one that was on the to-do list of the Pentagon for a long time that fell to the wayside after 9-11. The Space Force would take over the U.S. Air Force Space Command, a unit already in operation within the military. There is a question of international legality, though, as the U.S. has signed the Outer Space Treaty with multiple countries back in 1967, vowing not to militarize space. The Air Force says a Space Force would cost $13 billion over five years. Number 15. The International Space Station cost $150 billion. The cost of space exploration is not cheap. The International Space Station cost $150 billion when it was built and is still technically incomplete. Elon Musk is likely out close to $90 million after his last failed rocket launch. 
But no matter what the cost, it'll not slow down these innovators and countries from writing the checks to make their dreams a reality. As more companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX come into play, there's no doubt it can only be a good thing for the economy and for science. Now that you know some nitty gritty about the space industry and space travel, we'd love to know. Would you take a trip on a private rocket to space? Post your answer in the comments below. And as always, for sticking with us all the way to the end and being a true Aluxer, you know you get a bonus. Here it is. Number 16. Astronauts have to drink their own recycled sweat and urine to stay hydrated. Yep, you heard that right. No wonder scientists were excited to find the largest mass of water up in space. It costs almost $2,000 per pound to launch anything up into space. And you know what weighs a lot? Water does. So, how do the astronauts on the ISS stay hydrated? Through a complex condensation system that pulls the moisture out of the air from breath and sweat, and a filtration system that recycles their shower water and urine. While this may seem distasteful to some, our bet is that just being able to float above the Earth will be enough to get people to travel into space without worrying where their water comes from. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.